my time at uh, University of Houston was over the last year in the executive program. It's been an extremely intense year, not only working from home, but being able to manage an executive program. Very intense, but extremely rewarding. So I got into the program, not really, so I have a background, I have about 20 years of experience in the energy industry. Uh, All 20 years has been focused on people development. And so coming into the program, I I didn't necessarily know what I was, what I didn't know, you know. (laughs) Uh, I was excited to meet other people from other industries, uh, large companies, small companies, business owners academics, nonprofit groups, like it was very rewarding meeting people from very different backgrounds. And the other thing is going through the executive program allowed me to meet people who had a lot of experience as well. So drawing in on our academic backgrounds and our studies, drawing in on our work experiences and our personal experiences was very enriching. So I would say a lot of what I got out from the program is it validated things for me you know, validated terminology, processes, approaches to people development. But it really taught me a lot about specifically change management and how hard it really is. It's not black and white. Uh, There is a science to connecting with people and connecting with ideas and getting people to be innovative. And so the, the program and the people, the faculty that I worked with really brought a lot to life Uh, drawing on those experiences, but really bringing to life some new concepts and new approaches to organizational change. Uh, I just graduated in July, so I'm pretty fresh graduate. (laughs) Really, the number one reason is I've had some friends of mine who have gone through university, several friends of mine. Being from the Houston area, uh, I've had lots of, of friends and colleagues who've gone through the U of H for different disciplines. Specifically, I worked for uh, a lady that had gone through the HRD program several years ago, and she spoke very highly of it. And so when I went out to do some research, it was really the, the first and only school that I looked at. And I saw that the way it was organized, the objectives, and, and how it was run really fit well within my life as far as timing goes. And so I've only heard good things about U of H, so it draw me to my hometown. My current job is I am a people development leader or a business unit focused on sales and commercial. Every project I did, every course that I took, I I took a project from work and I brought it into the classroom and I applied what it was that I was learning in the classroom to my real work projects. And then I turned around and I implemented those things right back in my job. So everything from my first semester to doing uh, uh, action-based research on sales and commercial competency frameworks, uh, designing that, putting focus groups together, and then launching that uh, competency model was like the first project to one of the last projects I did on designing a program, right? Designing a training program on sales coaching. I took what I was learning in my design class, designed the program, and I've turned around and I've launched it inside of my company. So my education experience went hand in hand with what I'm doing in my job um, so that I could immediately practice the things that I'm learning. And so what it's done for me professionally is it gives me a lot of, um, visibility. I, I get in front of my executive team. I present to my executive team members. I'm comfortable. I'm confident because I've practiced it in a safe environment on the academic side. I've gotten feedback from my professors, but I've been able to turn around and, and be much more confident and comfortable seeking uh, budget and funding and approval from executives. Um, and then the other thing that it's helped me do is it's helped me go fast. Um, and so I get a lot of kudos in my job for turning things around quickly. And it's give a lot of credit to the fact that because I was on tight deadlines to get things submitted and developed for school, I, I had it right there and ready to go. Where it's going to help me in the future is I'm, I've am i got a lot of years left to give in working, whether it's in my own consulting business or it's in corporate or, or businesses. Uh, I'm not done here. I'll continue to lead in the space of organizational change for the rest of my life.
I love people. So one of the things I got the most, and I give people a lot of credit because people did that for me. They saw things in me I didn't see in myself and they helped me see those things and become better and, and feel, you know, direct me in paths that would help me feel like I was thriving. And so one of the coolest things that we did in very early in, in the, in our program, we created a career vision statement and my statement turned out perfect. It, it describes me and why this was, it's such a great fit for me. I do my best work when I get to work with people to help them see the potential they have in themselves to rise above challenges and do things they never thought they could do. That's why I love to do what I'm doing. I get a lot of satisfaction in helping people see their capabilities. The biggest advice I'll give in the space of human resource development is they're not machines. People, there's an emotional element tied to their performance and how they do or want to do, whether it's something technical or something non-technical, right? Whether it's sales skills, communication skills, HR, when, when you think about developing people, you have to think about the heart and the mind of people. And so don't get sometimes getting into the weeds of the design and how everything fits together is is important, but it's just as important to peek your head up and say, but are they ready to do this? Are they willing to do this? Do they know why they're going to do this? And do we fully understand the impact that it's going to make if people do the things that we put in front of them? So just don't get lost in some of the weeds and technical side of it. Always step back and try to see the bigger picture and how it fits into the whole design.